the media, they're, they're talking about OBJ and that tandem and Baker Mayfield, the, the next, you know, savior. Uh, he, he had a hot start. Um, and then to add on to that, Coach Harbs talked about it a couple of times in meetings. And so guys kind of got tired of it. Wow, Earl Thomas and the Ravens tired of hearing about the Browns. Should be a great AFC North battle on Sunday in Baltimore. It's time for All Caps, presented by New Era. It's still early, but it's make or break time for certain squads like the Browns. So grab the cap, gents, of the team that needs to get its act together before it is too late. That Earl Thomas stuff's wild, huh? Yeah, he's been okay. talking. All right, let me see here. Uh, it's never too late, right? We're only in week four. We can hold this thing together. We got Burleson. I'll jump right in. I'll be very quick on this one, and I'm going with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Okay. They have to get it together. What was all the hype about? Bruce came in and said, Jameis is my guy. We got the perfect team. And then there's been moments where Jameis looked good. Specifically last week, they blew that 28-10 to 10 lead. And it was shocking to everybody because for the first part of the game, this is how it went. Okay, Jameis. All right, Jameis. All right, Mike Evans balling. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. And then as I was having this conversation with my coworkers on Sunday, I said, man, there's just something about that fourth quarter. There's always one mistake that Jameis makes that had you scratching your head. And sure enough, he did. And it wasn't just Jameis. It was also Matt Gay missing that kick at the end, missing those field goals. So for me, it's this team collectively. Hmm. It's top to bottom. Coaching staff to sideline, quarterbacks, all the way to special teams. Yeah, and they play the Rams this week. Good luck. Um, I'm going to go with these guys because I feel like I bought a, a bad Batch of goods. I purchased in on the stock for the Broncos based on the defense and Vic Fangio taking Von Miller and Bradley Chubb to another level. And guys, it has been anything but that. Mm. I actually think the offense has been all right. Philip Lindsay's been good. Flacco's been good. And Daniel Sanders is having this amazing season. Mm -hmm. Corbin Sutton's been a breakout. But what is that? I don't know. What is that? This is the craziest stat of the year so far. Right. Three right. games in, Vaughn and Chubb with Vic Fangio, the what? pass rush specialist, That's zero. Right. Goose egg. They didn't touch Aaron Rodgers last week. If I'm a Broncos fan, we've gone down the road with all the quarterbacks and the offensive group. Now we're having another defensive head coach. Vance Joseph was the last one. What, we, what is this team? I know that felt the officials cost them in week two, but I don't want to hear about that two weeks later. Broncos play the Jaguars this weekend in Denver. Like, come on, Broncos. This is If you're not going to beat Gardner Minshew in your own building and you're not going to sack him, I don't know what's going to happen. Broncos, I might be out at the end of September if you don't mm. win this game. Uh, there's buying a bad bill of goods, and then there's telling other people they should buy it too. And I'm going to go right here. I, I loved Atlanta. This I thought Atlanta was going to the NFC title game. Um, this is the team that wants to embrace the sock. Well, they suck. Uh, embrace it. it. You need a crap sandwich. It's right there Whoa. from the deli on your plate. Eat it. I, I know that, that's what Don sandwich. Quinn works off of, but my yeah. gosh. <laughs> and now Keanu Neal is hurt, and it's like... I haven't been this disappointed in the ending of a Keanu since I went to the open night of Little Buddha. Come on, guys. Great movie. And like, here we are. One and Peter, to your point, are you talking about your team? These guys are at home against the Titans. The Titans just got waxed by Gardner Minshew. If you cannot win at home with an MVP quarterback, blah, 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 blah. Atlanta, I, I got to move on and see other people. I love you. I'm trying. Help me help you. <laughs> a crap sandwich? That's his words, yes. Unbelievable. Okay, so we were a little negative. They're telling guys to get their acts together. Yeah. But if we were to take a shot for every time we say the names Brady or Mahomes on the show, we'd be just as drunk as all the people we see in New York on our way to work every oh day. Nice. <laughs> Leaving the bars. Yeah. These guys are talked about. They always have the spotlight and the highlight reels. And we focus on them. But I want you to grab the hat of the unheralded player, the underrated star that you think is going to break out in week four. All right. I have right. a guy that's been breaking out, and uh, I have to adjust his snap because it was on the last one because Kyle was wearing it. All right, um, <laughs> McCall Hardman for the Kansas City Chiefs. If you're not paying attention to this dude, you have to. I know Shrakes, you talked about him. My guy ran a 4-4-3-3 four, four, three, three at the Combine, and he was brought there to maybe be a replacement for Tyreek Hill or just be a backup plan. And I'll just tell you how it goes. It doesn't work most of the time. When you have a prolific wide receiver, then you get a guy who's <laughs> supposed to be him, but the diet version, it never works. And this this isn't a shout out to Troy Williamson, but I remember Troy Williamson came in to replace Randy Moss, and Troy Williamson was fast, but he wasn't Randy. And McCall Hartman, he's fast, but is he Tyreek Ty Hill? I don't know, but I think he's just as good. My man has two catches for 97 yards last week. The week before that, he also has a touchdown. My dude's averaging 26.3 yards per catch. At least the NFL. Every time you see him taking a shot downfield, it's a touchdown. So, McCole Hartman, pay attention to this superstar. You know, we spent all summer talking about Ezekiel Elliott and his holdout. We talked about Melvin Gordon and his holdout. And then we waxed poetically about Christian McCaffrey and Le'Veon Bell. Guys, 
Mark Ingram signed with the Ravens very quietly mm-hmm. yep. and is fifth in the league in rushing and leads the NFL in rushing. Talk about it. Right, it's crazy. Mark Ingram's a friend of the show. We know that. But he's also an enemy to the opponent. Mark Ingram was awesome last week against the Chiefs. Yeah, Did it yet again. He's carrying this Ravens rushing game when we thought it was going to be five running backs, everyone getting involved. No, no, Ingram's like, give me the rock. I will move the chain. Can you be an underrated star when you've already been to the Pro Bowl and you've already had your jersey bought by millions of fans down in New Orleans? You sure can. Yep. Because Lamar Jackson's having a great start to his career. Mark Ingram is helping out as much as anybody on that team. (laughs) I am so impressed by what Mark Ingram's doing. He might be the best running back in football this year. And we didn't talk nearly enough about him when he signed with Baltimore this offseason. Good call. It's great, Shregs. I'm going to go. I'm going to put on this team. We got Bears-Vikings this week. Matt Nagy said, buckle up the chin strap for Bears-Vikings. And I'm going to look to a guy that we love. Love we haven't seen him. Tariq Cohen. Tariq Cohen has less than 100 total yards this year through three weeks. We call him Little Smokey, like one of those uh, little hot dogs. Yep. Which is an interesting choice for him this week. But I think they got to use him. I think they got to motivate him. They got to get him going. <laughs> you know, he usually has great film, and the only film we've seen from Tariq Cohen is his. Uh, Red band trailer type stuff. I'd like to see some touchdowns, some down the field, some ingenuity. Look at this man. He has been missing from the game plan, and when they've gone to him, it hasn't worked. I think Tariq Cohen, under the radar against the Minnesota Vikings this week, will break out. Well said. That is all caps. Thanks, guys, for playing along at home at GMFB. You guys are going to be the shot boys coming up next. Okay. Hey. Party like a rock star.